Well, uh, we, are, we are glad you're safe, Adam, and you did the right thing by, by trying to find cover. We are uh, we're being told right. that in this video we're watching here, at some point we might see the suspected gunman um, at some point. We're not sure where. Uh, and this is the oh, part, oh, right, oh, right there on the ground. Oh, okay. There we go. Wow, that's, I'm Neil sorry. did a great job. And this is wow. where they're backing up here, I guess. Okay. Uh, does he have a... His eyes seem to be closed. His arms are spread, He's spread on out. His stomach. He's on his stomach on the ground, and but that is the point where they were backing up. And it's interesting that they are backing up, Adam, and perhaps that he was threatening that he had some sort of a weapon on him. Um, his hand there doesn't Can appear to be anything in his hands. Hand? Nothing. No, doesn't appear to be anything in his hand. This is uh, this is unbelievable. And this again happening just moments ago. Adam, are you still with us? I'm, I'm still with you at one right. point. And, and again, this is just what I, I heard from police. I, right. I can't go on the right. record. No, no, no. We're and watching the guy we're laying watching. on the ground. He's laying on the ground. Cross, some jogging pants with a stripe up along the side, brown hair. Oh. To Laurel Street, that crosses school and goes into Laurel Street. Okay. And, and what did you experience tonight? Well, I had heard, first I heard a, a loud explosion type sound and then just a, a mass of police cars heading down one Auburn Street, but there were so many they couldn't tell which direction they were going. Mm -hmm. And then about half an hour ago, I heard a couple of sirens on my street, so I came out to check, and there were like 20, 25 police cars. And now the end of one Auburn Street, that spruce is blocked off. I'm hearing a helicopter coming overhead, and, and police are telling people coming out of their houses to go back in. They don't want to be here, and anybody who has no business on the street to just leave. I, I want to give folks a reference to where you are, um, Greg, if I'm not mistaken. You say you're on Spruce Street, and it looks like um, Spruce Street runs into School Street, and then it becomes Laurel Street on the opposite side of School Street. So, yeah, and then a short distance from there, it goes into Dexter House. Exactly, right, exactly. Right. So, so where you are, it looks like it's a very short distance to where this initial um, takedown took place at Laurel and Dexter Streets in Watertown. Yes, it's very close. Did you hear? Did you hear the gunshots? Did did you did you experience personally the gunshots? I did hear them from my window, right. and it was I was watching the MIT news coverage, and then a, a short time later, I heard gunshots off of my window, and I didn't think they were related. I thought that there was something else, but then I kept on watching the news, and and. <laughs> And all this doesn't happen. And, well, we, we, let me just be clear, Greg. We, we do not know if, if these incidents are related. There's the helicopter related, he's talking but, about, by but, the way. Um, That's the helicopter. Yeah. There's the helicopter you were just talking about. We, we have not connected the dots between the MIT incident um, and this incident. However, they have all happened within a relatively close proximity of one another yeah. in terms of distance and as well as timing this evening.